All right, welcome to another episode of Top Tier Gaming Podcast, episode Top three. And uh, <laughs> this is me, your top, top Tier. That's what I said, right? Top Tier Gaming yeah. Podcast? All right. I just so, did it really fast right after you. You did, you did, did. Um, episode three, this is Nocturnal Mantis and... Advent, of course, yours truly. Um, kind of want to start off by saying, and I'm pretty sure Nocturnal wants to say this too, that uh, sorry about the delay. Not only that, like me and him have been having a fucked up ass week. So, uh, yeah, let's just uh, try to turn this week around and see what's up. Let's get this podcast started. Heck yeah! All right. So first, uh, we'll first topic. Anyway, like, go down the list. What are we gonna talk about? All right. So the these we have seven topics. Um, first one's game awards roundup. So we're gonna go through um, uh, the winners of the uh, G. Uh, what is it? The um, yeah, VGAs, VGAs, and uh, the we're going to do some so, recap of the uh, PSX for the second uh, topic. Third topic is uh, this week in gaming history, um, and then the fourth one is world premieres we like the most. The yeah. Fifth one is fun questions, and we have some really interesting questions. Um, and then the sixth one is uh, good gamer gifts, and number seven is one's got to go. All right, cool. Sounds good. We're pretty stacked then. We got an hour. Let's do this. All right, so the first one, let's make sure we got it on the screen here. Yep, we do. Um, so the game, game of the year um, is Legend of Zelda Breath of Wild. Oh, we sounded like a robot right there. Um, <laughs> it's uh, the Legend of Zelda Breath of Wild. Yeah, I mean, we both don't have fucking Switches, so... or. Did it come out with you? Yeah, huh? Yeah, I think it came out for... No, um, yeah, it did. It did come out for the Wii U. Wait, is it on Switch? I'm fucking brain farting right now. Holy shit. Switch and, uh, on... and the Wait. Wii U. But on both. Okay, yeah, that, that's like that. Yeah, we never played it, so I mean, but the fact that we're hardcore, or I, I would say I'm a pretty hardcore uh, Zelda fan. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I'm, I agree. I mean, agree? the fact that Nintendo had a good, good run this year. Okay. I think so. So, yeah, I totally agree with that. I mean, besides it being like Horizon or Persona or whatever, but yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm Got surprised. No I'm surprised either um, Persona or the Horizon didn't get it. A Nintendo. Just think about it. A Nintendo game got Game of the Year. Yeah. Figures. And <laughs> kind of. Yeah, that's. That's pretty I have, shocking. So. I just want to make sure that our guests don't think um, I, you know, I grew up with Nintendo. I love Nintendo with oh, all yeah. my heart. It's, I have nothing against Nintendo. It's just that the directions they've been going is what I've been disagreeing with. Yeah, and... no, like, like we're not we're not shitting on Nintendo. I'm shitting on Nintendo. No, just like, <laughs> no, nah, I love Nintendo. Fuck that, dude. They they gave me so many good child fucking memories. So. Like, and to this day, I mean, I still love Nintendo. I just, I'm not going to buy a console that I'm probably barely going to touch for maybe like one or two games. So, right. I mean, not even, I mean, I bought a Wii when, I just, I bought a Wii, just a regular Wii for Smash uh, Brawl. Right. Just for that. I bought a really? full console, one fucking game. And then, I mean, it came with Mario Kart. So that was also like maybe the second game, most game, I want a game I want it. Mm-hmm. The Wii U came out and Smash Four came out, and I was thinking about doing the same shit. Because mm-hmm. I mean, tournaments back then, you know. Yeah. So we we're playing tournaments, and I had to stay competitive because I was I was running tournaments for Smash, and I was competing in tournaments for Smash. So I had to like pretty much give in and buy it. But then I got a right. 3DS for Smash Four and figured, why the fuck do I need a Wii U? Right. But being competitive, you. I mean, I miss that GameCube control. That's everything. The GameCube yeah. control is the competitive control. So, if only yeah, you anyway. could have, uh, if only you could have uh, connected your GameCube controller to the 3DS. Oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Put up a fucking Frankenstein of, a, of an accessory, but I mean, it would have been, it would have sold, dude, for sure. It would have sold no matter what because. I mean, I shit you not. Using a GameCube control compared to the 3DS, even though I got pretty good on 3DS, nothing compares to the reaction time and the accuracy that I have on the GameCube control. So, I mean, especially if I'm using a fast character like Super Fox, you uh-huh. need to be fucking 
point you need to be those frames you know that's all it takes and th that millisecond to like dash or fucking uh shield or anything like that or grab those are important so anyway right. I, I think we're going off topic. no not at Legend. all not at all um okay so uh <laughs> the, what was it one. what was the uh the um categories that we picked last week i can't quite remember <laughs> best game direction did we do that one uh, I think we did. Um, I mean, let's just talk about the hot ones. I mean, regardless which ones we talked about or not, I know at most anticipated and all that too. But okay. I mean, that's a gift. Okay. Uh, uh, best game direction was also Le uh, Legend of Zelda. Um, let's move on real quick. Best narrative, we uh, I think most of us chose Hellblade on that one. Um, yeah. But it didn't get it. It was uh, What Remains of Edith Finch. Yeah, that was my second pick. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember how I said it, that it's impressive how a walking simulator game could even be finished because mm -hmm. you're literally walking around just interacting with notes and stuff. Um, but yeah, I was I wasn't shocked either. I when I saw it, I was like, wow, like doesn't. Oh, so hold on, is this shit Demi? Probably. I think it did. Oh, there. You go. Yeah, it did. Yeah, it looks a lot better. <clears throat> um, but yeah, I'm not surprised at all. It was uh, I never I never played all of it, but it was good enough for me to be like, this is interesting and entertaining, and I want to know what happens. So, yeah, right on. And um, best art direction, I think we all picked Cuphead. Yeah, we all picked Cuphead. Um, and it so happened to be the winner. Yeah, not shocked at all. Obviously, no, no, <laughs> neither am I. Um, best music and score. Um, who did we pick? I mean, <laughs> Wilmer was the one who picked uh, Persona, of course. Yeah, Persona. Uh, I went with Persona, I think. Yeah, you did. Um, it was near. Yeah, it was uh, near Automata. Yep. Oh, not Automata. I'm sorry. Let me say it right. It's near Automata. Automata. Okay, that's how you say. It. Yeah, Automata. Yeah, the vowels so... are a little bit different in Japanese, I think. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I guess it because it, I mean, it is Japanese as fuck. So, yeah, Automata. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I I kind of was shocked. I never really heard the music besides it being kind of like, if I remember from the demo, fuck, I don't remember. It was kind of like orchestra, like epic orchestra. Not as bad as like not as like crazy dark as Dark Souls or Bloodborne. Right. But um. But it, it was like that orchestra, like Final Fantasy kind of music-ish. Oh, I don't yeah. know. Oh, yeah. For, but, yeah, you know, I mean, it's I, good. It was good. I, I bet you anything that it's on Spotify. Because they have a lot of game soundtracks on there that I've been kind of browsing through. And, it, and I bet I mean, you anything it, that's on there. That, that's, not the, that's not the first near anyway. So, I mean, yeah. there was one before. So yeah, they got to have a soundtrack for sure. Mm. Um, really best was... audio design. Oh. We didn't talk about that one. Best performance. We didn't talk about that one either. Um, games for impact. We didn't do that one. Best ongoing game. We skip that. Best mobile game. We skip that as well. Handheld I mean, you game. Might as well we skipped. That way, even though best impact was the Hellblade, I think. Best impact. Let me scroll back up. Uh, yes, it was Hellblade yeah. that uh, that won it. Yeah, that's um, good. Just... Life, Life is Strange was in there. I didn't even play Before the Storm yet, and I'm like really itching to try it. But I got to finish the first yeah. one, of course. I know Steph loves it. She said it's really good. Yeah. Yeah, um, I mean, it's not all that, but she's played, what, the three episodes that came out, and she, she loves it. She wants me yeah. to play it. But I'm going to wait till she's done. Okay. All right, then. Um, oh, it's, it's uh, Best Ongoing Game. You want to do that one or no? Let's skip it. Best ongoing game? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's uh, Overwatch. Yeah, it was Overwatch. Yeah. Um, I mean, big fucking that? shocker. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm surprised Players Unknown Battleground didn't get it. Honestly. I kind of, kind of have two. Um, Destiny, I, I am not surprised either just because of... Uh, what's been going on lately we're kind of late about talking about vgas to the point where now there's a big uh a big problem going on with bungie right but uh we might talk about well maybe if we have time we'll talk about it later since it's like the hot topic right now sure why not uh gaming world 
Um, I'm personally affected by it because I'm I play Destiny myself. So uh, yeah, we'll talk about that later though. Okay. Um, best mobile game. I've basically only played one this entire year, most consistently, but it's not um, uh, Monument of Valley Two. I I mean that seems very interesting. Yeah, I don't know. I haven't heard much about it. I heard there that's a part two, so I heard part one was really good. Um, other than that, I don't know. Speaking of mobile games, though, I'm gonna just kind of drop this on you since it's kind of like breaking news for me. True. Uh, do you like Harry Potter? I do actually. I did see the announcement. Um, it's gonna be fun. The, the actual the last game that I played. That was Harry Potter based, and I got really close to platinum it, and I'm kind of I'm kind of embarrassed about it. I never really told anybody that. Oh yeah, I played a shitload. I did actually play a lot of that. Um, Don't forget it's Lego Harry Potter. No, it's not a Lego one. It's not a Lego one. It was uh, it was in the PS3. Um, fuck, I forget which one it was. The Quidditch one. I think so. I'm not entirely sure. Because if it's okay, regard. Regardless, the the Lego ones, if you uh, played it, I don't blame you because they're fucking great. Yeah. Those games are really good. The Batman, the Star Wars, the Marvel heroes, all of those games are really good. Um and the Quidditch one is actually considered to be one of the like the better fucking Harry Potter games because it's like a legit game. So yeah. For you to be playing those, I mean I don't blame you. I don't really know any other game that are shit, but um but yeah, Harry Potter. Uh, I found out today actually that they're coming out with two uh, mobile games. One's uh, made by Niantic, which if you guys don't know, that's the people that make Pokemon Go. Yep. So it's gonna be an AR game where you walk around in real life, and I don't know what you're gonna be doing. You're not gonna be collecting Pokemon, but I guess you're gonna be doing stuff in the real world that's related to Harry Potter. So, I mean, that's interesting, but the one that I'm interested in, and I had to tell my girlfriend as well because she loves Harry Potter a lot, is okay. uh, you're, there's an RPG Harry Potter game coming out where you create your own character. Yep. And you make it, that character is a student at Hogwarts, and you're yep. going through the years as a student, going to class and learning, you know, potions and defense against the dark arts and stuff yep. like that, you know? That's basically exactly the same thing that I did with the uh, the PS2 game. Oh, no, the PS3 game. Um, it was back in the day when um, I worked at uh, GameStop where we can borrow a whole bunch of games. And that was one of the games I borrowed. And I literally didn't return it for like a week or whatever. And that was a lot of things. I loved the po- the potions part of it. And that was yeah. just a blast. Like, like I would love – oh, my God. I would love – because this is a, another question I want to throw out there one of these days is uh, Dream – Dream game. Like, what's your dream video game? My but, dream um, video game? Oh, that's a good question. I'll ask that. Yeah, so we'll save that for another time. But uh, I would love a Harry Potter game that's on console, at least. Uh, that, that doesn't even have to look pretty. But if it does, fucking kudos. Like, that's icing on the cake. But I want a fucking Harry Potter game that plays, like, Bully. Ooh. Just because Bully I loved. I loved the whole, like... You're the new kid. You could be an asshole, but you could be a dick. I mean, uh, a, a nice guy, I guess. But I mean, everyone, everyone plays a dick. It's called bully, you know. And yep. you go to class. You take these classes. You do the mini game, and you know, if you do the mini game, you level up in that category or in that class or subject. That dude would be epic. And then you have your like persona. You have your like your free time too. Not, if you're not going to class, you're doing free time shit. Right. But it's hogwarts. So you yep. could like write a fucking uh, fucking hippogriff or something, you know, or you could go in the forest and fucking just do shenanigans, you know, like get in trouble, stay up after dark, go into the library, like do anything you want. And then it, it could somehow intertwine with Harry Potter and the gang. Mm-hmm. If it doesn't, that's fine. And maybe you make your own story, like maybe he already graduated or whatever, and you're like the new generation, something right. like that. That would be epic. It At least would to be me. pretty cool, dude. That would be a lot of people cool. love something like that. Yeah, but um, but I mean, we're getting it on more on, on mobile. I don't know exactly how it's gonna play. I don't know if it's gonna be just a bunch of mini games of going to going to school. It's called uh, I think it's called 
Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery. I think that's what it's called. I'm going to look it up real quick. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I found out about this today and I was like, hell yeah, like that seems fun. Even if I pay like, what is it, five bucks for it? I'll, I'll do it. Like, it seems like it'll be worth it. Of course, I'm going to have to check up and see what exactly you could do. But I'm sure they're going to have a bunch of events. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're going to have a lot of updates. And just mm -hmm. take care of the fans because Harry Potter is huge. So that game is going to be very anticipated. Yes, sir. Here it is. Um, it's Harry Potter Hogwarts Mystery, just like you called it. Yeah. Um, yep. Looking to be released in 2018 somewhere. Uh, didn't yeah. really specify what part of the year, if it was first quarter or second quarter or whatever. Um, but we'll uh, we'll keep an eye on it, and we'll uh, yeah, we'll follow along with the. Uh, let's get back to <laughs> let's get back to uh, subject, which was the game awards. <laughs> um, I get. I, I mean, that was mobile games. That's for sure. I mean, as far as mobile games, maybe that might be best mobile game for 2018. We don't know. I mean, who maybe. knows? You know, yeah. um, best handheld games. I actually want to get back into handheld games again. Um, I don't know why. It's just just not Switch handheld games. Um, maybe Switch handheld games. I don't know. It's really it's kind of up in the air for me. Um, but it, the winner for that one was Metroid: Samus Returns. That's like clear um, another Nintendo game. Um, the only non Nintendo game, actually, you know what? Wow. For all Hellblade. of the, for all, well, <laughs> you wish it was Hellblade. For a handheld game, no. Um, oh no. Oh no, for, for handheld, dude. Yeah, for, best for sure. Game. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Persona Four was on, uh, or I forget which Persona, but it was on the Vita. I forget which Persona it was, oh, yeah. but it was on the Vita. That probably would have won if it was this year, but I think that was last year. Um, yeah. But this year, dude. All of them. There was five entries, and all five are Nintendo handheld games. Well, yeah, because no one makes handheld. Microsoft's not going to make it, and Sony was like, "We had a good run, so they're not making handhelds anymore." They just yeah. know that's not their shit. So the only fucking ruler and the king, and no one's going to fuck with them because that's the only one doing it is Nintendo. Yep. So fuck it, put up for them. They got the title. No one else can make uh, handhelds except Tiger, and they yep. want to come back with fucking shitty ass fucking games those tiger games yep <laughs> i've had a few of those i had a few in my time i had a nice little stack too some nice. bullshit ass you don't still have them oh dude, i don't know i don't even know where my, my nes is oh man <laughs> that, <laughs> that it's sucks. somewhere yeah yeah you'll probably end up but, finding uh, it so um best vr one. game uh resident evil 7 biohazard gets it Yep, makes sense. Yeah. That's uh, if I get VR ever, uh, that's the first game I'm gonna get. Yeah, not uh, not Star Trek Bridge Crew. Anyway, um, <laughs> and you I, best I, I, action I, game. I'm gonna cut I you would off get there. and and Doom for sure, and and Super Hot. Super Hot is a for sure too. Yeah, that was there. That's on the list for best VR game. Yeah, that that game it was it was a close one. I bet you anything. So. Super hot and Resident Evil Seven. The only one that got it because Resident Evil Seven's like no, that's about it. Yep. But next one. All right, next one is best action game. Winner is <sighs> Wolfenstein Two. I don't know. You know it was what? it was a fun death. I was so lost in the story. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. I guess uh, you have I to get just, deeper. Uh, I mean, maybe that's why they did it like that. Huh. Maybe that's why they did it like that, so you can get captured into it and buy it. Yeah, there's fucking all the other, what, two other, three other games that continue the story from before mm -hmm. that. So it was just a pretty game to play. It was nice and bloody, and the the, the gameplay was solid, uh, and my leg is in the way. <laughs> I kind of want to leave it like this because I'm comfortable. But anyway, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess. I, I mean, <laughs> I would, I'm really curious in getting it. Maybe I can convince my brother to do a, um, a game share on that one. Uh, let's move on. Best action adventure game. Legend of Zelda, of course, wins it. I was kind of hoping for Uncharted Lost Legacy. Um, but I guess Breath of the Wild just breathes on everything. 
<laughs> I agree. Best there role is. playing game. I want you to guess this one. You probably already know it. Huh? Best role playing game. If I had to guess, it'd probably be Pikmin. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Persona 5, obviously. Persona 5. I'm surprised South Park didn't get it. Was it nominated? Yes, it, it was. was. It. it was. There was. Wow. Along with, along with Final Fantasy 15, uh, Divinity, Original Sin 2, and uh, Nier. There's a lot of people that uh, didn't like Final Fantasy 15 just because it was kind of like a point bad thing. Uh-huh. But I personally liked it. I liked how it was going for a cliche and royalty kind of fucking Final Fantasy where it's like so serious and the people are like the people, the characters talk all proper and shit. Uh-huh. That kind of bored me. It made me actually feel like I was playing the game. Like, you know? Right. I mean, don't get me wrong. Final Fantasy is great. I love seven. I love eight. I even fucking played 10. But um, yeah, just, I just the fact that it was like, bros hanging out doing a bachelor party kind of thing because he was about to get married and all of a sudden shit hits the fan and then you're you have to go make a road trip back to back home Mm -hmm. because of an emergency it's just it was just it was cool i didn't get to finish it sadly because i just kind of couldn't find the time or even the motivation to turn it back on but it was good okay um best Uh, fighting game Injustice 2. Got it. Yeah. I've heard a lot of good things about that game. I mean, Tekken 7 was there. For a campaign and a fight to be good is pretty rare. Yeah. Not that typical, like, you know, Street Fighter arcade or fucking Mortal Kombat Tower where you just got to get to the boss. Right. So, pretty cool. Best family game is uh, Super Mario Odyssey. Yeah. The rest was all other Nintendo games, except for yeah. Mario and Rabbits. Gotta, I gotta say, though, Nintendo killed it this year. Yeah. Kind of weird, because I don't minute. know any game besides Mario Kart that I played as Nintendo. Yeah. I mean, they came out last minute. I don't think how... Okay, so Sega got a, a foot in the door with Sonic Mania. And I heard that was actually that... pretty good. When, oh... Sonic Mania. Actually, it was not, that's on Switch, huh? Um, I think it's on Switch and uh, I think on the 3DS, but I'm not sure. I even think there's, there's one on mobile, mobile too, I think. I think. I'm not sure. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, I hear it's good. I like Sonic. Best... I like Mega Man too. 11. <clears throat> <clears throat> Best strategy Sonic. game? Mario and Rabbids Kingdom Battle. Yeah, I hear that that game's good. It plays kind of like Fire Emblem, but it's just I mean, Mario. It beats out XCOM too. Well, I don't. I'm that's, not a fan of those kind of games. That's kind of interesting. Tooth and Tail was another one. Total Wars, Warhammer Two, and Halo Wars Two, which I totally forgot exists. Yeah. Wait. Uh, oh, that's one of those strategy games, huh? Yeah. Yeah, they're all like one of those point and click games. Oh yeah, and Mario and Rabbit. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> um, best sports racing game. Ah man, like Forza. A, Forza got it. Yeah. Yeah. Whatever. I heard about. <laughs> Good for them. They got it. Best multiplayer. We talked about this one. Um, it was uh Battlegrounds Player Unknowns. I guess <laughs> I even a finished game, man. I yeah, I didn't know a buggy game could uh could win a game uh an award. It was very buggy when I played it. Yeah, I mean it's come a long way, but I just I honestly can't see the the reason for it being like game of the year status kind of shit, you know. Mm-hmm. But I should if. if if you're going to release a game, I mean, finish that shit, you know? Right. Which is in the way of Destiny as well. Same right. thing. But but anyway. <laughs> I was, I was kind of hoping that it would run better on my computer because since I can fucking play uh, Skyrim on Ultimate Settings, why can't yeah. I play Battlegrounds on, you know, decent settings? And it was still buggy as fuck. Um, yeah. I mean, it's not a shitty game. It's, it's fun. 
it you could like unlock stuff and just drive cars and stuff and it's pretty cool but when i start seeing people's cars blow up for no reason and shit like that it's just kind of like Dude, you're playing Battle Royale. You're not trying to die. If you die, you have to wait through an intermission and all that shit. So for you to die just spontaneously like that, it's just kind of like, fuck, man. I would be pissed. Yep. And I've seen people rage. And people paid for that shit. So it's kind of like, uh, I yep. guess. And then you look at Fortnite now. Fortnite's come a long way, dude. To be free? Like, it's so polished now. It's, like, it's polished. It's, up, like, it's constantly being updated, like twice three times a week kind of mm-hmm. and like it's like updated to the point where like people they, they're taking feedback from the fans like they're taking like oh that ar is inaccurate as fuck let us uh update it a little bit oh this gun's way too broken let us patch this or nerf it like they're making it balanced more balanced and more balanced and they keep adding shit they're making cosmetics there's already a uh, what uh christmas uh patch coming in or it's already in so For, i mean really Oh, wow. Yeah, there's our Christmas thing. They have already new cosmetics. They have a new uh, battle pass where, like, you do things in the game and you uh, fill up the pass, and each tier gets filled up, and you get like free V bucks, which is uh, the the actual money currency in the game. Right. And you get that free just by playing the game now. Ah. So, yeah, you don't even have to spend real money to to play it let alone to buy the cosmetics you want which are pretty legit right now there's right. like a, a dark or a black knight armor so you look like a fucking or a knighter in like black armor and right. with demon eyes or something like and you could you could buy that with real money or you could play the shit out of the game maybe like i think it was uh how many hours i think it's 15 hours and you could actually 10 to 15 hours and you could actually get enough v bucks to fucking buy that shit oh wow yeah so it's not even that big of a deal yeah but um within a fucking month span or two months span anyway uh yeah so last last one um yeah PUBG got that one um most anticipated game obviously uh, what last of us last of us that's right last of us part two gets it out of Red That's Dead Redemption why. 2. Yeah. That's surprising. Red Dead was second, very close second for me. I mean, very Monster close. Hunter is not so much for me. Spider-Man is like right there with The uh, Last of Us, actually, over Red Redemption. I played uh, the demo for Monster Hunter. Uh-huh. I had no fucking idea what the hell I was doing. Yeah. I mean, I killed the, a monster, a big-ass monster. But the combat system, I didn't understand. There was, like, music notes and shit. And I was like, what the fuck is this? Music notes. And then it wasn't 60 frames. So that kind of turned me off. And I was just kind of like, uh, yeah, the same for me. <laughs> okay. Like, fuck and then, this. And then God of War. Yeah, God of War. Like, uh, the, top, the top three for me is Last of Us, Spider-Man, and God of War. In that order. For me, it, Last of Us, Red Dead, God of War. Okay. All right. But they're like talking 98, 97, 96. Very close. (laughs) So they're all up there. (laughs) uh, The the winner for Trending Gamer, which is funny, it says uh, Dr. Respectful. Disrespect. (laughs) Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's the doc, man. That's funny. Gotta respect the stash. Now he's playing. now he's been Fortnite? playing. Uh, no, Call of Duty. He's not doing Fortnite. Oh no! No, he's 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 all up in Call of Duty right now. I'm a, I'm just assuming because between him and Summit, them two are like kind of like unwritten rivals in my opinion. Because there's a lot of yeah. a lot of people in the chat are like, oh, you should play against this, or you should play against Doctor Respectful, and so on and so forth. And when I go over to Doctor Respectful's channel, it's always, oh, you should play against Summit. You should play against Summit. And like, oh god, these guys are like, like, oh, they they show their respect to each other, but they'll never play against each other, or they'll never fucking actually get in a chat room together. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, because it's kind of like. If they do it, then people are going to know, you know, like, oh, he beat you, whatever. Yeah. So they're trying to scoring. It's like the dream fights or dream matches. Like, you don't give people with that shit right away. You got to let it build up and let it stew for, like, multiple years, maybe. And then maybe finally 
like the match. And I mean, knowing not knowing them, but if I were them, at least as fucked up as this may sound, but it's best for I mean, it's their career. They kind of need to do it. They should rig it. <laughs> make it like uh like, like wrestling, like make it a story, like make it like okay, this time you're gonna win, but make it look like a struggle, like it's pretty fair and I barely win. Okay. And next time we go at it, you win and we make it look really close. And that way they could keep milking that shit, you know? Even yeah. though I mean it's free to watch, but people are gonna like you know, do their donate to them and, and do their stuff. subscriptions and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. No, I get you. Yep. So, I mean, that's what I would do. It's just, it's entertainment. That's what they do it. They don't do it to be, oh, this is me playing video games. I'm a cool person. No, they do it because it's a fucking, I mean, Dr. Disrespect does it already. He plays a character, you know? Yeah. That's not really him. No, it's not really him. Yeah, but it's, he does it because it's entertaining. Right. That's what you do. So, fuck it. Fake a fucking feud. Fake a, a rivalry or, or whatever, you know? Like, of course, everybody knows real drama is better. But for entertainment purposes, like a movie, a movie's fake. Yep. You know, wrestling's fake, and that's all good to watch. That's great to watch. So there you go. That's what I would do. People Check. will probably get pissed about it if they found out. But yeah, you could at least say, "Well, weren't you entertained?" That's the point. You yeah, know? Yep. that is. <laughs> so, point. Check this respect. category out that I didn't know existed. This category is called best Chinese game. Jesus. <laughs> That's what I said. Um, I don't know anything about these games. Um, it's called, oh, let's see what this one is, JX3 HD. Uh, I'm assuming. Oh, it's... yeah, the HD version came out, huh? What's that? I said, oh, yeah, the HD version came out, huh? <laughs> Monument Valley that... is another one. Gumballs was another one. Uh, I see. And then King of Glory, which all of these games I don't know anything about. Yeah. I, I feel like if I did know about them, I'd fucking have a brain tumor. I'm assuming it's all mobile games, honestly. <laughs> I guess. And that's it. That's it for um for this category for now. I mean, well, that's it for this topic. Uh, let's do That'd a PSX recap. Um, was there anything... I mean, should we just do the world premieres of it, or... Hmm. Well, the thing is, there was no world premieres on PSX. VGAs did the world premieres. Right. Okay. Honestly, Let's... I don't have much to. I really don't have much to say about PSX because there was nothing there. They didn't show anything, really. They just showed shit we knew about. Right. Like they even reshowed the same trailer show that the VGAs for Death Stranding. Yep. That's true. Yeah. Okay, I'm watching this for the second time now. And yeah, that was, I mean, it, it wasn't like shit, but it was, it, it's what its name is, PlayStation Experience. You have to be there to experience it. That's true. If you're watching it all, like, there's nothing going on. And there was nothing new about it. There was nothing impressive about it unless you were there. Yeah. So VGAs took it by a landslide because they showed me way more shit than VGAs even gave out discounts for fucking mcdonald's uber that shit to your or uber eats it to your house uber eats that's right that, that was epic dude i yeah. for me to fucking 10 bucks or not 10 five dollars off my order if i got uber eats at mcdonald's while yeah. i'm watching vg that's pretty badass yeah <laughs> i wonder if how many so, people actually used it that's that's an interesting question to know I, at late night so i mean I, I had to sleep already and shit yeah but um what you call it? Was I gonna say? Oh, yeah. So, I honestly, as fucked up as a topic as it is, my thoughts on PSX is I have nothing to say about it because nothing happened. Okay. Like for reals. Well, for me, I'm I'm actually a big um, fan of curation type games. I mean, I don't know if you ever played Little Big Planet, but that's like, like when it first came out on the PS3, that I would spend most of my time on that. Um, yeah. They actually did a demo of what Dreams is all about, and I finally yeah. got hooked. Like I was very spec, uh, um, cautious about it. You know what I mean about yeah the game Dreams, and since they showed how much you can actually create and make your own levels, an actual platformer or whatever, um, that got me hooked. 
Like I love creating yeah. games like that. I love creating stuff like that. And I don't know. I've, have have you played the Little Big Planet? I I think we've played together once. Yeah, I've played it. Yeah. Uh, the, the dreams uh demo. It, it looked good. I mean, that's what we needed. Nobody knew what it was. Nobody knew if it was gonna be like wonky or not. But mm-hmm. it looked good from what we saw. It's just we have to see more in order for it to to kind of wow. At least in my case, I needed to wow me with more because mm-hmm. you could just. Oh, you could do this. You could do that. You could do that. What if that's all you can do? You know, but from yeah. what they're saying, they're saying you could do so many things that it's practically infinite. Right. So, I mean, Little Big Planet had its barriers. Right. But it people did create shit with Little Big Planet. You know. Mm-hmm. So dreams should blow that out of the water at least when it comes to creativity. So uh, yeah, well, I- I'm looking forward to that. It looks impressive. All right, let's go to the next topic is uh, this week in gaming history. Let me bring it up on the screen for us. Um, Skylanders came out in 2012. Dungeon Defenders came out 2011. Ratchet and Clank all for one in 2011. This one's a nice one. Fallout New Vegas came out yes. in 2010 now that's some Love memories that. man that's some real memories uh like what's the most memorable moments for you in in new vegas uh getting to the getting to the well beside getting to new vegas itself mm-hmm. uh the fucking the whole mission with the cannibals yeah that shit stuck with me the most what was the uh, the guys with the masks? What were they called? The Institute? Uh, no, 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 I not the Institute. Not. My bad. Uh, what were they called? I forgot what they were called. I forgot what, what club they were called and all that mm-hmm. stuff. I remember the name of the, I think it's the casino or hotel that they lived in. Right. But, yeah, dude, that stuck with me for sure. <clears throat> it, it's funny because the other most memorable moment from Fallout 3 even that I remember had to do with Kibbles as well. Yeah. Yeah, it was like a little, it was like a little secret. It wasn't even a side quest. It was like a little secret, like area that had to do with cannibals in that little town. I don't know if you remember, or no, you ever I don't. did it. No, I don't remember. It's crazy. I'll tell you one day. Okay. Uh, it's a crazy side story, but uh, yeah, that's my mo- my most memorable moment is uh, the cannibal club or whatever. That's all I'm gonna say, just in case. I mean, just in case someone can For play it. Ever- yeah. But, uh, <laughs> Honestly, I don't think it matters. I mean, it's been out for seven years. Yeah, but you never know. I mean, shit. I've never played fucking GTA. GTA. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 4. So. All right. I mean, that's because I didn't have a PlayStation. But I don't that's know about funny. you. What's your. My most memorable moment of it is uh, Cesar um, in the fight before the uh, for the dam. All of that. Oh, like it's a really good. Kaiser. Yeah, when you fight Kaiser or Caesar. I mean, however you want to pronounce it. Um, well, the game pronounced Kaiser, so I guess Kaiser? that's how you. Yeah, it's Kaiser. I call it C. I, I just say Caesar. Yeah. Like little switch. Ah, fuck, that sounds so good. Uh, <laughs> what what sounds uh, good? Actually, little Caesars, dude. Sounds oh. good. A little plug for them. Good. You're welcome. <laughs> Um, yeah. all right. So next one is another good one. Bioshock 2009. The first one, the first one. Ah, oh, and I'm playing that right now too. Yep. Yep. There's great this, fucking game. That really got me into first person gamers. Really like, like officially as, as story driven games go, you know what I mean? Yeah. That, yeah, that game, I can't even. I can't even explain. Like that shit was it's not even was. It's it's a fucking amazing game. The only thing I just don't like about it is the, the pictures. Having to take pictures of all the Yeah, that was kinda that, silly. That was kinda silly. I mean, and then me, I have OCD, so I have to level up all the fucking enemies. So I see an enemy, I gotta run up to him and take a picture, like before I start engaging in combat. And if I just kill him right away, I lose out on XP. So I was fucked every yeah. time. So I would lose damage for no reason. <laughs> but uh, other than that, I hacked everything. I killed all the big daddies. I I rescued all the little sisters. Great fucking game. I love it. Um, another one. 
Fable 2, 2008. Not a fan. Never played the, the Fable way they games? Talked, I played it, yeah, but the, the way they talked and shit bugged me, and it just made me, like, made my dick soft. I didn't I didn't like the, the, the art style. Yeah, the art style was weird, too. Everyone looked like fucking hobbits. Yeah, it looked weird. But, you but, know, I mean, it, was, it was fun as what it was, you know what I mean? And I also only had an Xbox 360 for, like, six months. Then I traded it <laughs> in. Yeah. Oh, um, fuck it. Another good one, but unfortunately I never played, is Far Cry 2, 2008. Yeah, I never played it either. I think that was a uh, an Xbox game and PC as well. I don't, I don't remember seeing it on the... On the PS3. Well, Far Cry though, Far Cry Five. Looking By epic. Way. Yep. Yeah. Uh Guitar Hero, Aerosmith, two thousand eight. <laughs> I'm not a huge <laughs> fan of Aerosmith, but Guitar Hero's nice. Yeah. Um Eternal Sonata, two thousand eight. If uh I, think that's a... if, I don't know. If Joe was here, he could be telling you some shit about that one. He could be telling so you like some shit. RPG. Yeah, totally RPG. Um, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 2006. I played that. That was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Yeah. Over the top. Can have four controllers plugged into your system and just go crazy multiplayer on that, that one. Fun. Yeah, it was that sounds cool. Yeah. Um, this one's a PC only game, um, as far as I remember. It doesn't say. But uh, Star Wars Empire at War 2006, it was a strategy game that I've always wanted to get into but never never got into. Another PC game, The Sims 2 2005. Um, not a big Sims fan. Nah, that's creepy. Yeah, it is kind of creepy. <laughs> I mean, I've always Fucking wanted creep- to- I've always wanted to like lock up someone inside of a room with no way out and watch them die. Yeah, I mean that's the only thing I would probably end up doing in that game. If you want to see that? I could send you videos. Yeah. I know some shit. Yeah, <laughs> if you want to see a real fucking person locked in their room until they die, I could send you a video. Oh boy! Shit, I could live stream. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> um, that's horrible. Dude. FIFA. It's uh, that. it happens in real life. Yeah. <laughs> uh, FIFA, FIFA Soccer 2004. Um, don't care. Uh, The Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers 2002. That game was good. Yeah. For PlayStation 2, right? Yep, it was PlayStation 2. Oh, that game is really good. I've always and I'm seen not it. The movies, but the game was awesome. Yeah. And I've always seen it in the bargain bins at uh, when I worked at GameStop, and it was always in there. And someone always came up to buy it. I, you know what else was in there in those bar- in those bargain bins, and it pissed me off because I really liked it, and a What's lot of that? people shit on it. What's it's that? Max Payne Three. Yeah, what the hell is up with that? It was a I lot of people I, liked well, it. I love Max Payne. Max yeah. Payne One and Two were dope as fuck. Mm-hmm. I felt like fucking like deranged fucking detective that lost his family i really felt like that and i felt for him you know mm-hmm. and then part three part three was way different than part one and two but and i think in a good way though like it was like a movie and i don't know why people shit on it like the story was pretty good you know right it wasn't like it wasn't the same shit because if there was a max Payne three and it was just like one and two it's like where's that story gonna go you know like and the style was just kind of very PS two y, if that could even be a thing. Yeah. So the fact that it went like Xbox three sixty and, and PS three, it had to it had to change because games are changing through the consoles. PS two, we have PS two games, you know, that we can look at it and be like, that seems like a PS two game. We have right. PS three and three sixty games that are like that seems like a PS three game, you know? Right. Now we have PS four. And look at games are changing dramatically and mm-hmm. not just like the way you the way they look, the way they, like, like actually, yeah, the way you play them too. Like, mm-hmm. look at God of War. God Completely of War was a fucking, different. yeah, a hack and slash, fucking, just gruesome, uh, reaction time, fucking button pressing moment or quick time. What is it called? Yeah, quick time. Whatever, quick time fucking moments, whatever. Uh, and then I'll look at it. Now it looks like it's fucking like Last of Us. You yeah. know? Yeah. So, um, they, I, I just think that games change with the consoles. I never thought of that before. Games change with the 
consoles. It's fucking crazy. Yeah, maybe we have that as a topic sometime. Yeah. Um, okay, so last one is Virtual Fighter 1995. Yeah, can't can't shit on that. That's one of the OG fighting games. Yep. First fucking one of the first what? Or was it the first 3D fighting game? One of the first, yeah. Uh, Tekken was the first 3D. Okay, and then it was Virtual Fighter. That mm-hmm. they're fucking. Virtual Fighter came after, uh, I think, um, Tekken. That's so crazy. Yeah. All right. Um, that's it for that. That's it for uh, this week in gaming history. Um, the next topic is world premieres we like the most. All right. Uh, Go ahead for your first. I mean, did you see any of them? Yeah. Yeah. I went. I did my homework. Uh, honestly, right off the top of my head that I could think of right now, uh, there's two of them. Uh, if you want, you can go first, and uh, I'll talk about my actually, two since I'm sure. I actually have a few. I have a, quite a few, actually. Yeah. Oh, you do? Um, not in any particular order as far as, like, top one, two, and three or whatever. Um, the best um, is actually GTFO. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, you talking about them is going to refresh my memory, so that would be good. You go first. Um, yeah. That thing looked badass, dude. It reminded me a lot of um, games like Evolve or Kill- Killing Floor mm-hmm. or even uh, Le- Left 4 Dead. Yeah. So the fact that – I mean, I think it was uh, – you know how many guys worked on that fucking game, dude? No, I don't. Seven guys. Seven? Shit. And- yeah, if I'm not mistaken, it's only seven guys and that's it. And they all made that shit. Damn. That's crazy, huh? That is kind of crazy. Just seven? Look at, yeah, just seven. From That's what they said after the, show, the premiere. Uh, they are talking to uh, one of the, the, I guess, the director or creator of it. Right. And he's like, yeah, there's seven of us. And they're like, what the fuck? Like, really? There's only seven of you guys working on this shit? Right. And it, it looks good. It does look I mean, good. It kind of reminds me of a little bit of... um. I don't know if you've played um, Aliens or whatever. Uh, there were like Aliens versus Predator kind of like style, like the oh, background, no. the atmosphere. As far as being a first person shooter, that's that's probably going to be one of my one of my games I really want to get. And it's co op. Yeah, and it's co op, four player yeah. co op. Uh, the the game that it came screaming at me, it's I wouldn't say Left for Dead or anything like that. The one that it just came screaming at me is it just screamed Killing Floor Two. Oh, that's really? what it was yelling at. Yeah, yeah, because the way it looks, like the ambience and how dark it is, and then it's like all you have is a little flashlight, and just you have these hordes of enemies coming at you. Mm-hmm. But um, to me, it looks like a very, very much better version of Killing Floor Two. Right. Even though Killing Floor Two was was fun, um, but this looks like the more co y competitive, replay valued game that we kind of want. You know. Right. Oh yeah, I'm it I'm pretty excited good. about it. it looks I hope really it's not fucking a fucking good, dude. I hope it's not a fail. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so too. I I want it to be a a, a fun, playable, addicting game. Yeah, because games like that are just fun, dude. You you never get the same game twice with those kind of games, or at least I think if it's RNG based. Right. But um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Um, the other one I got is actual um Metro. Exodus. Uh, shit, I didn't see that. You didn't see that one? You know what? Fuck, I, I don't even think I finished the, the VGAs. I don't Oops. think I did. I was I watched like a little more than half, and then I was like, I'll finish it later, and I never did. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck. It's but anyway, uh, yeah, I didn't see that. Another first-person shooter. Um, yeah, it's like like the other Metros, right? But it's like, yeah, it's like it's like the other Metros, but this one has more of a twist to it. Um, it takes place in, like, you know, uh, Destroyed World, um... And I think it's a virus that killed everybody or whatever. Uh, it doesn't really show much um, to what the game is about, but the graphics look amazing. And there's there's these weird looking creatures, um, and it, everything's just like frozen over depending on which area you are. Um, and of course, it takes place underground, and there's you know there's trains involved. <laughs> Um, but the trailer looked amazing, in my opinion. I really I need to, liked it I need a lot. To look that up. I never played any of the other ones, but uh, yeah, neither have I. I it's a fresh story, and it's a fresh like 
environment or whatever, then I think it's definitely worth the play. I have a, I have a problem with playing games that I never played the prequels, especially okay. if they continue. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, but if it's a whole new thing, like, cool. I'm, I'm down to try it out. I gotta check it out. Um, my third one, I mean, there's more than, than three, but uh, this one just, like, really tingled my uh, manhood is Soul Calibur 6. Oh, yeah. Forgot about that. Oh, <laughs> how did I forget about that? Yeah, uh, the moment uh, they teased it before they even showed it. Uh, with the whole, uh, your heart burns or your soul burns or whatever he said. And I was like, well, the moment I heard soul, I was like, ah, oh, fuck. And I mean, they're fucking talking about fighting games. And yeah, they dropped it. And I was like, fuck, I got to tell my girlfriend. She loves uh, Soul Calibur. Really? For her to love a game. Yeah, I, it's rare for me to hear her say, oh, yeah, I love that game. So for me to find out she likes Soul Calibur, uh-huh. I had to tell her, fuck, it's been eight years since the last Soul Calibur. So yeah, I, I told her, oh, yeah, Soul, Soul Calibur 6 is coming out, next gen graphics and everything. And she was like, oh, cool. So I know I'm going to eventually, uh, when that comes out, I'm going to get it, try yeah. it out, see what's up. I definitely see what fucking pick it up. You fucking like... characters come out. What's that? I see. I said, uh, see what kooky characters come out. You know that would be interesting to see what they do. You know, uh, who knows? We might get like Kratos. That would uh, be pretty fucking sick. I mean, did yeah, they already do like that Kratos. with the PSP Xbox? Version? Yeah, hell yeah, I think so. Uh, yeah, I, think could, I did uh, that. I, I could think of two characters. Like Link and shit from fucking. They might even bring Link back for uh for like the Switch version if they have a Switch version. That would be cool, actually. That would be yeah. cool. For Sony, I think they would probably have like they've had Heiachi already, huh? Yeah, they've had Heiachi before. Yeah, uh, I think they'd come out with Kratos and fuck. I don't know. I can't think of anyone from the top. Maybe um that girl from Horizon. Okay. I that would know. be Something pretty like, cool, yeah. Yeah, that just that's just my guess. Is I mean, I would want someone like Dante or something, but yeah, <laughs> of course. <laughs> you know that would be pretty tight, though. Yeah, that'd be tight. That. And then like Xbox, I don't know. They probably get like Marcus Phoenix or something from uh-huh. Gears of War or some shit like that. I don't fucking right. know. Maybe right. Master Chief. I mean that Master Chief and Marcus. Yeah, I would think of that. That'd be my two for for Xbox. But, what was uh, the yeah. um? What was the ones that you saw? The ones I saw, and the one I actually kind of like was thinking about was uh, uh, World War Z, which uh, the just looking at the little trailer beforehand, before you even know what it's called, uh-huh. I was like, oh shit, these zombies! It's a zombie game. They're fucking zombies rushing you like super fast. So for a video game to have zombies rushing you as fast as they were, as aggressive as they were, yeah, I want that. A fucking game where a simple zombie scares the shit out of me because there's no zombie game out there right now at least in my preference where i see a zombie and i'm thinking that's a fucking threat right there you know yeah so not like resident evil one or something resident evil one is like probably the only time i'm looking at a zombie and i'm like it's practically a boss battle every time <laughs> kind of oh, yeah but um to see zombies and big ass hordes rushing and they look like fucking water running mm-hmm. down the hallway or something and they're climbing up on each other and shit, like climbing up a building. Right. And I was like, that that's a zombie that's scary. game. Scary. Yeah. Some like, World War Z shit. Yeah. And then next thing you know, the World War Z. And I was like, oh man, you gotta be shitting me. <laughs> it was like meant so to World be. War Z, Yeah, I I'm hoping that's also a good one. Um and the other one, it wasn't really a well, it was a world premiere, but it was a tease, was uh from software's title. From um, software drop. Sir? I mean, it looked like Bloodborne too. I don't think it did. That that, that didn't look that like little a gear thing. looking thing. Yeah, it didn't look like Bloodborne to me. It looked a little more, uh, uh, like gruesome. Uh-huh. There was like, it looked like there was meat and blood on a, on some kind of weapon. Yeah, and well, to me, that's I not. Put, I put the Bloodborne. photo up on it, and it's a big gigantic bone with um, like a crank. That's winding up yeah. a, a rope. Yeah, and mm. uh, to me, that's not Bloodborne. No. Bloodborne is it's more uh, the weapons weren't as gruesome looking like that. Yeah, 
So it might be a completely new title for all I know. I mean, if it is Bloodborne Two, hell yeah, fuck yeah, I'm I'm ready for that shit. But I'm trying to I try to like look at it a little bit more, and I started mm-hmm. thinking, what if that's Bloodborne at all? Right. I even Dark Souls, you know? Yeah. Because Dark Souls weapons didn't really look like that either. They kind of had a little like funk to it, but it just looks more of like a gruesome looking weapon, almost like um, not cavemany. But I don't know, just fucking demonic almost, you know? Right. So maybe it's more of a like a demonic from software game, which mm-hmm. would be fucking crazy. Because it'd be cool to see their bosses and designs through a more biblical style. Right. Like I remember, uh, what boss was it from? Was it Bloodborne? I think it was. I think it was, uh, I forgot the name of it, but it was like this giant fucking reaper with wings and it had a scythe. And you yeah. hear a baby crying in the background while you're fighting it. It was fucking... That was dark, dude. That boss battle was not only sick, but it also, like... It felt like it was on a biblical level, like a demon. You know, like death itself. Like a reaper. I need to go back and beat that fucking shit. Yeah, that game... I thought that game was pretty pretty near flawless. Besides the fact that being 30 frames. And right. it was 60. Holy shit, I think that'd be like... 10, <laughs> 10 out of 10. 100 out of yeah. 100 for me. Yeah, but um, yeah. If it's Bloodborne two, cool. I'm I'm ready for it. I want that shit. Right. And if it's not, and bring it on. Shit, I love a new title from fucking from software. Something new, a new world, a new story, a new uh, just a new everything. You know. Right. Anything else yeah. that you saw, or? I was pretty much well. You kind of reminded me of the other ones. Uh, that's about it though that I can think of. I can't really. I should have fucking took down notes or something. Yeah, like, I, I took out. I took down some uh, notes. some notes. Um, yep. So what was a fade to silence? Was the counterpart of um kind of, it kind of reminds me of um what was the notes that I wrote down? It's a survival horror, and it's looks like a cross between. Horizon Zero and um, Bloodborne. It's like a mix of two, because you're using uh, you're using bow and arrow and you're fighting big bosses. And it's third person, why, third person. Um, that one looks good. That's one of my like um, questionable like nominated. Uh, I hear the ice cream man outside your house. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, and I got a few dollars, and I want to get it. Um, Witchfire was another one. You want to go grab some nachos? I can't right now, or we're in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> it's okay. I could talk nachos. by myself. Nah, that's all right. I'll skip it. <laughs> as much as I want to, I'm gonna skip it. I'll have, I'm gonna I'm gonna have uh, some breakfast with the lady, and uh, it's supposed to be something amazing. She's telling me. She's like, "Don't worry about it." Okay. Um. Okay, Witchfire is definitely it's a first person shooter, but like Bloodborne style. I think a lot of people are trying to go for that horror survival look of Bloodborne, but this one isn't first person. And it looks wow. fucking sick. You need to take a look at this one. If this is one that you missed, look up Witchfire. That also looks familiar. Or sounds familiar, I mean. Yeah. I look at it though. There's some really scary shit. There's this one guy with uh, glowing eyes, which look like he's in a set of um, French military armor or whatever, and he's got this sword that's on fire that looks like like a spinal cord kind of, and it's like he's stabbing huh. towards you, and you're holding a shotgun and shit. Huh. And it looks it looks pretty sick. I mean, it, mm, this one is top on my list for uh, world premieres. Um, Dreams, of course, is not a world premiere, but that's something I'm looking forward to. Um, VR, do you see anything that's VR that you wanna might get? Yep. Uh, Accountant Plus. Yeah. <laughs> Creators of fucking Rick and Morty. <laughs> yep. Can't, can't say no to that. I fucking love Rick and Morty so much, so much that um, yeah, I, I definitely want to see what they got in store for us. Uh. I mean, right off the bat, I didn't even know it was made by them. And they uh, actually have a, a game, a gaming studio called uh, Squanch Games, I think it's called. And uh, yeah, Squanch. If you don't know what Squanch is, you're not a fucking Rick and Morty fan. But um, 
Yeah, they yeah. Uh, just by the watching the gameplay, and I hear that guy talking, and I was like, he sounds so much like Morty. It's stupid. Is it? He sounds exactly. It, no, like Morty. it's the same board. It's the same. It's. Yeah, I know that. I was like, why does he sound so much like Morty? And then I found out they're the ones that made it. I was like, oh, of course. But uh, yeah, I want to play it. It looks like a cool little like. It looks kind of like WarioWare, but for yeah. VR. Yeah. And it's in the humor of Rick and Morty. So, <laughs> WarioWare is fucking. Up. It's the, one of the funnest handheld games I've ever played. Yeah. Um, and then for it to be a VR game, and they kind of abuse the fact that you're in VR. Uh huh. That's pretty bad. And it breaks the fourth wall. I love games that break the fourth wall. Yeah. So, that's true. Pretty cool. Um. Another VR game that I actually was interested in. If you do get that as a, a as a gift, hint, hint. No, I'm not. I'm not talking about that. We're yeah. not talking about that. <laughs> okay, so um, if a buddy of mine so happens to do, I want to. I actually want to play Vacation VR. Oh, the Vacation VR. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather play the working one first, the job job simulator or whatever. Yeah way i could at least you know have fun with that and then maybe go to the vacation one really yeah because i mean are you gonna take a vacation if it didn't work that's true <laughs> <laughs> there you go good point good point so job simulator first then vacation simulator in that well, order. honestly i really want to play super hot yeah in that's VR? The one. resident evil 7 could wait because i beat it already right but I'd still want to play a horror game through VR, a good horror game at least, you know. Right. Oh yeah. Huh. I mean, if... Oh, I'm getting a. I'm getting. Um, you're getting cut <laughs> off. Uh, I said, of course, I love to play PT and VR, but none of us are ever going to get that. Oh man, why would you have to bring that up? It's okay. You open That's up. Trendy. You open it up in an old wound, man. That fucking hurts. Yeah, I do it all the time. I do it to myself. If I see that shit hold up, I get a knife and cut it right open again. PT exists, kinda. <laughs> kinda. Wow. All right. Um. All right. So that's it for that topic. Next topic is fun questions. All, all right, right. Bring it. I. I. I mean, you way, had one. I had one. I uh, just want to say, if anyone has any questions they want us to answer, doesn't really matter what it is, as long as it's not fucking like bullshit. Yeah. Disrespectful shit. Yeah. We'll filter that. Uh, I mean, you could have fun with it. We'll fucking answer fun questions, but don't get all fucking racist and political and shit, you know? Yeah. Well, I, but, I, uh, I got, yeah. I got, I got one from, uh, from Facebook and uh, I'll share that one with you after we do a few. All right. Cool. Yeah. Just, you could do it through Facebook. Um, comment on the video. Now you could put it on any one of our comments, Nocturnal Mantis or Advent our mm -hmm. YouTube page. Cause these, these, uh, audios or these podcasts, and the videos themselves are going to go up on the on our YouTubes. So you can just leave a comment, and uh, we'll even give you credit for it. We'll give you a shout-out. But, uh, right, yeah, so let's go for it. First, first question. First question. Um, from a game that you have played, which character would you like to hang out with? Okay. I mean, we've had this conversation already, but I'll say it again. Dante. Yeah. Hands down. Why? Why? Because me and him, I think, are just smart asses. And I think that'll just rebound off each other. Uh -huh. So we'll just keep a smart ass to each other and it'd be entertaining to see who could uh not crack first without like, oh, I can't say nothing to that. I got burned or whatever, you know? Right. And then I if I'm lucky enough, maybe some demons will come out of nowhere and we could fuck him up. Or I could maybe bar his guns. <laughs> and right, here, you, you deal with it. I'm gonna relax and have a drink. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I would want to fight with him. That I, I would just it'd be so badass. Just cause Dante's just a cool guy. But um if I had to pick what Dante does, ah, it doesn't really matter to me. I will pick any of the Dantes, the older Dante. I feel like the older Dante would probably look at me like I'm a loser. Uh huh. <laughs> and the the younger Dante would still think I'm a loser, but at least he'd be around my age, so it'd be more like we have shit in common, I guess. <laughs> right. But yeah, that's about it. That, that, that'd be Dante if I had to just pick one person. Um, and I okay. don't yours, so go ahead. You, you know mine. It was it was a cross up. We talked about it, and um, yeah. it was a cross up between uh, Nathan Drake, which I would like totally yeah. love to chill and have a drink with. Um, yeah. You know, and talk about shit or whatever. 
And that's, then you brought yeah, up something yeah. that I really would want better. That just like, all right, Nathan, you're going to have to, uh, there's only enough room for this party. And, and that's, you know, big boss. So you're going to have yeah, to leave. <laughs> so it's big, funny, uh, big boss cuss, comes in and we just fucking like, what the hell are we doing here? What am I doing here? <laughs> oh, you're here to teach me some crazy shit. Big boss. <laughs> So we're gonna do, I'm, yeah. first. First, I'm gonna try to attack you. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna try to kill you, big boss. But don't, don't kill me. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to kick your ass, and uh, you show me how it is, and you'll tell me, oh, uh, praying mantis isn't where where it's all at, and you show me some suki suit and shit. Yeah, <laughs> that's funny, huh? What I what I was telling you, mm. uh, Nathan Drake would be super badass to hang out with because the yeah. stories he would have to tell would yep. probably just blow your mind but um plus he just seems like one of those chill guys to hang out with like yeah just give him again he could just talk and talk and talk yeah but uh when i said you see more of a big boss guy and you were like ah, and i was like dude he's gonna teach you some fucking crazy shit he's gonna teach you how to be a fucking machine a killing machine <laughs> and you're like you know what yeah you're right <laughs> It would be big but boss, yeah. or even fucking solid it, snake. I mean, either or. Yeah, either one. Yeah. And I was gonna, <laughs> what I told you about. All right, so what I do? Put my hands up. Okay, put your hands up now. Now I'm about to punch you, and you need to push square to counter. <laughs> <laughs> what? You know? How do I push square? <laughs> Where's your controller? Every soldier needs a controller on the battlefield. <laughs> wow. So uh, it was pretty All funny. Right. It was like. A, <laughs> Yeah, but uh, yeah, there are there are two that we'd pick. I mean, I, I wish I could pick more, but if I had to just choose one, it'd be Dante. For yeah. Sure. So next um, question. Next question is uh, from a game that you've played. What weapon would you like to have? Wow. Almost the same question. Almost the same question, but this is a weapon for you as something you would like to nickname uh, uh, some chick name or whatever. Fuck. Um, I mean, right off the top of my head, just because I know it's power. If it's from a, it's from a video game, right? Yeah, from a video game. Yeah. Okay. Because it's from a video game and an anime. Those are two huge fucking things. Yeah. But if I had to choose it, a, a actual weapon, just because I know the the responsibilities that come with it and everything, it'd be uh -huh. the keyblade. Keyblade. Yeah. Now I'm just typing it in so everyone it. can see what it looks like. Some some people may not know what it looks like. A keyblade um, is, is from. Uh, I mean, you don't know what the fuck a no, keyblade no, no. is. No, no, no. I do. I do. I know. I'm just not a fan of the game. Okay. No, I'm not talking about you. Okay. I'm talking about the audience. If you don't know what the fuck a keyblade is, I can't. I don't think you can consider yourself a gamer, whether you like <laughs> the game or not. Because that's like saying, "Oh, uh, for me, it'd be the Master Sword." Oh, uh -huh. what's that? Ooh, you know, that's another but, one that you should be like, you need to be banned from this podcast. Yeah, for real. Like, you know what? I don't want you listening because if you're going to listen, that means I'm pretty much going to cut my vocal cords so you never fucking hear the amazing shit that I have to say. You don't deserve it, you know? But anyway, right. Uh, right. a Keyblade is the main weapon in Kingdom Hearts. There's multiple different ones. There's a shit ton, almost mm -hmm. infinite amount. There's yep. like a whole war on the Keyblades. Yep. But, um, yeah, the Keyblade is the main weapon of Kingdom Hearts, just so anybody that doesn't know. Whether you like the game or not, you should know what that fucking weapon is. Um, but yeah, that's that's my weapon choice. Nice. That means I'm a Keyblade master, pretty much. You know, quotations. <laughs> right but, uh, yeah, I, I choose that. I'm not so sure. So what about you? Spot. There it is. The Cerebro Boar from Turok. This thing, I have no idea what that is. Well, yeah, of course you don't. This thing is amazing, though. So, hence the name Cerebro. What it does is you shoot it from your weapon, of course, and it fucking tracks you. It will follow you no matter where you run. As long as I got you locked, it will fucking chase you down. And what it'll do oh. is it'll go into your head and fucking drill inside your head and fucking then it explodes. And it's a nasty, <laughs> nasty gun, dude. And I'm, I'm, oh. 
I'm showing I'm showing people who are watching what it looks like. It's basically it's it kind of looks like a lobster with a wheel, like it kind of like a handheld um, table saw that has like yeah. a lobster like texture to it. And it fucking shoots this thing and it makes this crazy sound effect. And it goes, Wee-ah! and every time you shoot it inside the game, um, either the dinosaur or whoever you shoot it towards runs away. And they scream with their arms waving over their head. It's, <laughs> it's fucking hilarious, dude. This gun is so much fun when you first pick it up. Um, That's but if, funny. If that was the gun that I want, it, it's this one for sure. It, what you're telling me, it kind of reminds me of uh, the smart pistol from uh, Titanfall. Okay. The one that just shoots bullets and it automatically goes straight to the enemy. Okay. It shoots like bursts and it oh, just kills any. Yeah, so that's, that's cool. fucking retarded broken. I mean, if you want like proficiency in killing what you have to kill, that'd be the that'd be the weapon for anybody. Hell yeah! But uh, this thing's yeah, awesome I get too. You. This that's thing's awesome. Your version is some more gruesome. Yeah, it and just, funny. It'll go around corners <laughs> and shit. It doesn't matter how many rooms you fucking run into or try to run away from it. It'll just keep following the path that you are running, and it'll eventually yeah. get you. That's funny. But yeah, that'd be the gun for me. Um, did you have any questions too? Those are the two that I've um, picked you know, up. You know what? Uh, since we're on the weapons, uh-huh. I know the, the difference is going to be huge. If you could choose a weapon from anything, an anime, a movie, a game, what would it be? Well, uh, ans- ask the question again. Did I break up or what? Yeah, kind of. Uh, if you could choose a weapon from anything, an anime, a video game, what would it be? Um, does it have to anime? What about a movie? Yeah, a movie, anime, whatever. Just um, any weapon ever. Shit, that's a toughie. Mine, mine, mine's not tough at all. No, you, <laughs> you already had thought about it. Um, oh, no, I don't, it's an automatic thing for me. It's an automatic thing for you? Yeah, automatic thing. I'm pretty sure it's an automatic thing for a lot of people. Shit. I'm not sure. I don't have one. I mean, it would probably be the same gun. Um, really? Maybe. I don't know. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, if I think of your weapon against the one I choose, depending on how fast it is, if you even knew I had that weapon, uh huh. if you knew I had the weapon, yours would win. Yeah. If you didn't know... I had my we- that my weapon, mine would win. Okay, so but if you I thought of me it. using my weapon, uh huh, you would we would both be dead. Oh really? Yeah. All right. I guess that's like a little hint. All if right. you could see, kind of guess what I'm thinking no, of. I can't guess it, but I uh, I figured out the one I want. Okay. Um, it's the it's that arrow from uh, Galaxy uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. Oh yeah, what's the, the name? Uh, arrow. Yeah. Oh, fuck yeah, I forgot his name. It would be but yeah, that. Uh, it, would, it would be that one. That that seems yeah, a lot of fun. So yeah, that, yeah. Same. If you if you knew, same thing with that. If you knew I had my weapon, you would kill me with that shit easy. <laughs> so, but the thing is, mine is the Death Note. Oh really? <laughs> yes. If anybody nice. does not know what a Death Note is, it's a fucking notebook. You write someone's name in. And they die within 40 seconds Damn. from a heart attack. Damn. And specify how someone dies if you want. So you write their name, you think of their face, and you could say, commit suicide at 8 o'clock tonight with uh, Newt. Oh, and wow. it'll look like suicide. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You could com- completely manipulate as long as it's possible. You can't say, oh, uh, this person dies by jumping off the Eiffel Tower because it's impossible to get to Paris, you know? Yeah. So you got to make it, like, real, and it happens. And that's all you do. It's just a simple notebook. Yep. Yep. Yeah, that makes sense. That's I, Mine would be. Well, if I ever see you with a notebook in your hand, walking around all the time with it, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not going to be pissing you off. Yeah, that's not even the thing. I don't even have to walk with the notebook. I could walk with, like, a, a ripped piece of paper, piece of paper yeah. from it and just write on it, you know? Damn. Secretly, too. So it's, it's it's a fucked up weapon. It's uh, it, there's a lot of tricks and loopholes you can do with it. But um, Ooh. yeah, that's my choice. 
All right. Um, okay, so next topic. Let's move on to the next topic is good gamer gifts. This one's going to be simple because since our time, we already passed an hour. We're at uh, an hour and 15 minutes. So wow. we're going to we're going to we're just going to pick a couple and then we'll go to one's got to go and we'll do two okay. rounds of that. Um Okay. Uh, if you can have one two as well and I'll have one for one's got to go. Okay. Um good gamer gifts. Shit. I mean, a new controller is always a good fucking gift. Especially if you don't know what the person likes to play. Yeah. A new you controller what, yeah. is always like a guarantee. Like, oh shit, fresh buttons, fresh sticks, fresh battery. It, like nothing beats a nice new controller. You know what it I mean? It doesn't even have like needed. Right. Like someone could have a brand new controller already. They could literally put that shit away and wait till this con uh, their controller they just got is done, you know? Yeah. So a good uh, extra controller, brand new, obviously, is a great buy. Yep. Like those shits are, they rarely go down in price, like on discounts or whatever on sale. And you can't have too many controllers. I mean, you could, but to have an extra spare controller just in case anything happens, like you spill coffee on a controller and it fucking wigs out, that's a good backup. That's, that's yeah. like a great for any gamer. Wow. Let alone if it's a... <clears throat> uh, Oh, you're breaking up. Say again. I said let alone if it's a scuff. Uh huh. I mean you know what a scuff is, right? A scratch. No, a scuff controller. Oh, scuff controller? What do you mean by a scuff controller? Like the highly modded controllers that are oh, like almost pretty good. That would be a fucking beautiful gift. Yeah, but that's like over the overboard. We're yeah, just talking about regular kill. PlayStation control. Yeah, yeah. I'm just talking about a regular joke. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Um, another one would probably be like depending on what system they're playing, maybe like uh, a PlayStation card or an Xbox card. You know. Yeah. That way, that way they can like, download uh, their own game. You know. Yeah, they could get a game of their choice or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, uh, thinking of, uh, games, I mean, if you have to think of actual games, mm -hmm. the game I would say would be almost any single game that was game of the year nominee. Um, especially right now, horizon zero dawn is, uh, the complete editions out. Yeah. So it's 50 bucks comes with the DLC comes with the game. You can't go wrong with that. You know, right. that was borderline game of the year. Uh, even persona five be a good buy there's a there's a bunch of games out there right now that are really good i would say the your your safe bet would probably be uh like horizon um yeah that'd probably be it right there uh i would say even neo neo is a good one because it's super hard mm -hmm. and the uh, complete edition came out for that which is also 50 bucks right has three dlcs um yeah that, that's also a good buy but mm -hmm. probably the best gift you can get anybody gamer or not a little bit of dough, <laughs> some cat, some moolah, the universal gift of the world. Here's some cash because, inside of a inside of a Christmas card. Yeah, just give them cash, give them mm -hmm. dough, and uh, they'll get what they fucking want. If they want to buy McDonald's and make a bouquet, fucking up chicken nuggets and fries, let them do it. That's what they wanted for Christmas. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, and if they you don't know what game to buy, just give them some cash. I, I remember gifts, dude. Back in the day, it was like. Oh, I gotta get this game. I gotta see if he likes it though. Mm -hmm. So it's like instead of just buying the game, you could just give me the money. I'll get what I want, you know. Right. But that kind of defeats the purpose of unwrapping something. So it's pretty tough. It's tough nowadays. Christmas is is kind of hard for some people. For this year, yeah, it <laughs> is. Like I, yeah. I only know so much about Selena right now, and so far, um, I've decided on her gifts and stuff like that. But uh, it was difficult, honestly. Yeah, it's it's gonna be hard now, and then now you're gonna have to see her response and see uh, if she likes it or uses it or whatever it is that you got her. Right. And from there, know if you, you fucked up, if you did okay. I don't think and I if fucked you need up. to improve. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm sure you're fine. Start bettering your gift giving and stuff like that. You start realizing, okay, that was pretty good. Now I got to keep learning secretly, learning shit, paying right. attention to things that she talks about. Yep. 
and just keeping them in your mental mental locked brain. Yep. Yeah. I've had a friend who um who uh, we walked around the mall once and looked at a specific item was like, "Oh, this is so nice and and whatever." And like literally I remembered it. Luckily I did remember it. it 6 months later it was as a gift and they were like, "How the fuck you remember that?" Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Oh. That's, you know, that's, that's what like, counts. Dude. That's what counts. As long as you remember and 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 put that effort in, whatever, dude. And that those yeah. gifts mean things. You know what I mean? Remembrance is gonna impact them hard. So yeah, that's all you gotta just remember something small and simple to them. It's it's a lot. It's like it's oh, I really like that. For us, it's something small. That's mm-hmm. like oh, I like that. Okay, I'll get it eventually. Mm-hmm. So all right. So yeah. one's got to go. Next topic. Um, the one I picked is, yeah, it's pretty generic. Um, okay. John, one's got to go. Kingdom Hearts, the whole entire series. Call of Duty, the entire series. Or Metal Gear, the entire series. Which one's, which <laughs> one's so got to go? Easy. I know. That's I, so easy. It is easy. Yeah. But it's generic. One's it was, go. I, I chose something that we both like and something that you liked and I liked. Okay, I get you. You know what I mean? Well, for and me, obviously, we, we like as far as the viewers and listeners, they don't really know much. So, but this will give don't. a good this will give a good perspective for them in the future and in the later podcasts. Yeah, that's true. Okay, well, I love Kingdom Hearts more than I could think of anything. Obviously, uh-huh. I chose Keyblade as a weapon. Um, but yeah, uh, if one had to go. I, I love Call of Duty. It got me. It got me my 360. Uh-huh. And Metal Gear. I've only played pieces of the games. I've uh-huh. two and three. That's it. Yeah. I've only played one, two, and three. So I'm a fan, but not a huge fan. Right. But if I had to say one had to go, I love Call of Duty at least back in the day. But I would say Call of Duty. You you'd kick Call of Duty out. Yep. Really? Wow! Pretty cool. Yeah, All right. it's because it's just it's just a never ending game. It's just multiplayer that really you know is like. I mean, the, the stories are stuck in my head, like uh-huh. Modern Warfare stories with Ghost and Captain Price and all that. Yeah. And I mean, I played the shit out of those games a lot, like a lot. Not as much as my friend Big Love, but uh-huh. fuck, a lot. But, um, but that entire series, Call of Duty's gone. Yeah, I oh, I wow. wouldn't care. Wow. Yeah. Even though it's got history I, with you, because Metal Gear to me it's it's good. I, I wouldn't mind it going, but I'd rather play a good single player game than a multiplayer game. Okay, makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. At least um, me now. I'm then I was all about the multiplayer, but anyway, yeah, that was right. my that's my choice. My choice is uh, well, it's uh, it's Kingdom Hearts. I haven't played any of them. Yeah, you're fucking up. <laughs> that's your life. I know, I know. I, that's and I'll hear it for the rest of my life. Um, like I told you, I'm, I'm probably so I'm I'm gonna end up. I just don't want to put the time. Honestly, that's that's the way. Like I said, dude, it's your loss. When it comes down like, to it, I just don't want to put the time and effort to play it. But I am gonna watch someone play it. I wish you would had it's the same, streamed it's the same thing. all of them. You... When you first played them, when you first played any of them, I wish you had streamed them. Streamed them all. I would have watched it. Hands on. I would have oh. watched every single one of them. I mean, technically, I could stream it now. Start from the beginning. Yeah, I have part one. I have part two. They're both uh, the remix HD versions, and then I have all the other ones with two point eight and so, all that too. So you like them enough to play them all over again? I played. Kingdom Hearts 1 and 2, back-to-back, back, for the past, let me see, for the past eight years, every year on my birthday. Really? How long does it take to yes. beat the first uh, first to second one? It takes me all day. Oh, okay. All so fucking day. Let's just, okay, look, the tutorial, the tutorial for Kingdom Hearts 2 is four and a half hours long. What the f- <laughs> Why? It's, it's <laughs> It's not, it's not a tutorial. It's more like a little like build up. That's a story that you're playing, but it, it they teach you like like the basics, I guess, here and there. But it's mostly cutscenes and and story and like little trivial gameplay. And then after a show, after the four and a half hours is done, it finally shows Kingdom Hearts two, and then the real game actually starts. Right. Oh wow. Yeah. So the fact that you don't want to put the time 
into it, you're going to watch someone play it if you ever do. You're still putting in the time, no, no matter what. Right. So for you to watch someone play it is – I, like, I don't even know. I don't think the, you'd really enjoy it as much. In the background, I'm not going to like be all up in it, you know? No? Or you're going to want to once you know what the story is. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. You're not. No one's played that game and was really like, oh, this ain't my thing. Like, that's what I said. I thought this, the, when I first saw the commercial, I thought mm-hmm. it was the most stupidest shit I've ever seen in my life. I was like, really? Final Fantasy and Disney? What the fuck? Who, who's on crack right now? Who's making this shit? And I made I shitted on that game, and then I fucking played it, and I ate my own fucking words because I regret it saying that. Like, the the story is what makes you want to keep playing. You don't even put time into it. You want to fucking cut other shit out of your life to play uh-huh. it. Oh wow! Trust, me. yeah. You there's not the fact that you don't want to make time. You fucking just put that fucking moment you put the game in and start playing it. You're gonna get hooked. Wow. You're gonna want to really want to be like fuck this i can't wait to get home and play some more i want to finish this shit i want to know what the fuck's gonna go, what, what's, what's gonna happen you know right so yeah it, well, the fact that you're saying you don't want to put the time and effort into it i get it because you uh, never turned it on i guess but the moment you do you're gonna want to finish it you're gonna want to finish it and play it and you're gonna get hooked on it and you're gonna want all the little details of the stories you're going to want to know what the fuck's going on, and you're going to get lucky because by the time you're done, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to come out already. Oh, wow. And you don't have to, like like everybody else. Everyone's waiting for more than a decade for that game to come out. So if I and, played them all, including the ones that are 2.1, 2. 2.5, and 2.7, or 8, or whatever, you two want, points. If you wanted to, I, I don't. you don't have to. You could literally just play 1 and 2. Okay. So you could get the the version that came out for fifty bucks. Okay. Uh, it's one point five plus two point five for PS4, and you will be fine. Okay. Uh, if you're if you end up becoming a super big fanboy of it, which fucking a lot of people are, mm-hmm. then you're gonna want to play like the Chain of Memories, which is one and a half, pretty much. It's right. one, and then Chain of Memories, which is like a little mini game. Not it's not a mini game, but it's like a little side story that happens before Part Two. Okay. So it's kind of important, but literally I could just speak it to you and you'll know what the fuck happened. Oh, okay. And then you have other spin-off games that are all... 365 or whatever. Yeah, 365, uh, no, 328 days or some shit. 358 and a half days. There you go. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, Birth by Sleep, Dream Drop Distance, Recoded, uh, and then you have 2.8 that came out like not that long ago. Okay. Um, all those games... They're all they're all pretty much canon. Okay. So, as long as they're canon. Yeah. They're, there's like yeah, they're all canon. Even though Chain of Memories at the end of it was it was all just your memory is wiped, so it never happened. Oh. Which is kinda weird. But it happened. That's the thing. Mm-hmm. So um yeah, I mean I could go on, dude. Kingdom Hearts is huge. It's fucking it takes forever to explain. You just have to play it enjoy it the, the game itself is not even bad it's fucking fun it's rpg it's if you love final fantasy you will love it especially if you're dodging and take skill to fight instead of right. just like oh hit me i hit you let's see who dies first right no this is it takes fucking skill you could block you could parry you could uh, choose combos you could choose magic you could choose to dodge roll instead of block you you know the boss battles are in there so you fight sephiroth holy shit one of the hardest bosses in gaming history at least in the Kingdom Hearts one, you know. Right. I could go on, dude. but for the podcast, I'm just gonna say, play it. <laughs> That's it. All right. Just play it. Um, I'll even let you fuck it if you want. Wow. Yeah. All right, I'll be down for that. Um. Okay. Um, so, all right. Uh. Do you have a uh, one's got to go? I actually, can't think of one. <laughs> Yeah, think unfortunately. Yeah, I had to think of mine as yeah. we were talking about gamer uh, gifts and shit. Um, uh you know what? If I had to think of two right now, just because they're similar, it'd be it'd be interesting. Uh huh. Uncharted, the whole series. Uh huh. Last of Us. Oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> and since I know it's for you, Metal Gear. Ah, fuck. Oh, yeah, she's going to call you later, okay? Eh? She's going to call you later. Oh, okay. okay. Gee, I don't know, dude. 
Um, so, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. I really don't know. If I had to choose between the two, it would probably it would probably have to be. Fuck, that's tough. You're an asshole. Yep, that's why I did it. <laughs> uh, you gotta be good. You gotta choose game. Like for me, for me to pick easily, that's kind of lame. Yeah. But you idea of like people getting to know like what we like. Yeah. That's a good idea for future. Damn, reference. but I but love you, yeah. Metal Gear and I love. Right. Oh, damn, I love all three of them. Yep. Shit. I mean, if, if our, the, last, the Last of Us is an ongoing thing. Metal Gear is not an ongoing thing. Uncharted yeah, basically you, stopped. I could even pick for you. I think I know your answer. It would probably be Uncharted, actually. Really? Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought it would be Last of Us because it's kind of like short. I don't know. I really like Last of Us, though. Like, I really yeah. enjoyed it when I played it. Like, I just figured... Uh, Metal Gear and Uncharted have the big ass story, so there's a lot to lose. Right. And Last of Us just have one game, right? So I figured maybe Last of Us might have been it, but mm. uh, yeah, I don't know, dude. It, uh, Last of Us is amazing. I would have a hard time getting rid of that. Yeah, yeah, it would be Uncharted I, series. Because I, I started in Last of Us for for Steph actually. You what? I started Last of Us for Steph. She was here the other day, yeah. and uh. Started it for her so she could uh, get to know what it's all about. What did she think of the first, first uh, few minutes? Uh, she was quiet. <laughs> she was quiet? She's not it. She doesn't like shit like that. She gets mad at me when I show her something that's fucked up. Yeah. So well, I apologize. I'm like, I'm sorry. I was like, if it helps you, like, if it makes you feel better, I almost cried the first time I played this. <laughs> I mean, I teared up. I got uh, watered um, up. Uh, like my eyes got watery the first time i've seen it even now like even that day i kind of felt my eyes getting heavy and i was like oh yeah. this is painful all like, over again yeah but for her dude, yeah she, she, like, enjoyed it. she liked it all she right. enjoyed it all yeah right, cool. she i almost want to do a stream of it before um when they released the the um the date for on uh for last of us part two I'll fucking um, yeah. I'll time it to where I'll just play the first one and then I'll stream the second one right after. Yeah. Yeah. I think I'm gonna do idea. that. I've been wanting to do something like that. You still need to stream uh, Doki Doki Literature. I do. I do, and it's on there. Almost. I'm. I'm kind of tempted. Maybe I might do it tonight. Yeah, if you do, it gives me something to do. Right. I'm gonna cook right now after the podcast. I'm fucking hungry, dude. You're not. Uh, you're not going in tomorrow morning. No. No. All right. Then I'll definitely stream it tonight for you. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right, then. All right, cool. That's the end of episode three of Top Tier Gaming Podcast. Um, I appreciate you guys coming along. Uh, hopefully, uh, yeah. you'll see us on episode four. Uh, you could follow us on Facebook. We have a uh, group channel there. Uh, we also have a Twitter account, so I do updates on there. Sometimes I'll retweet other gaming information uh, if you guys are interested in looking up on that, um, as well as uh, just follow us here on uh, on you know on YouTube. Or on, um, what's the uh, what's the podcast uh, system that you've been using, John? You've been uploading it up from there. Uh, actually, yeah, it's an app called Castbox. Uh, I'm putting the the podcast up on there. It's totally free. You don't have to really do anything. You, I think you make a free account if you want. It's totally free though, and then uh, you could even download the podcast um, to the app. That way, if you're like at work or something, and you have no bars, which is in my case, there's no signal in fucking our job. So uh, I had to download the the podcast on my phone, mm-hmm. and I could listen to it on airplane mode, you know, and just chill. Yep. So, um, yeah, totally free. If you guys want to subscribe on that, that'll be cool. That way, we actually start blowing up a little bit. Mm-hmm. Um, another way to listen to it is uh, YouTube. Mm-hmm. Uh, just go my YouTube or Nocturnal Mantis YouTube. My YouTube's uh, just Advent with the um, with the three instead of an E. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, I got nothing else. But yeah, uh, CastBox. It's mm-hmm. a totally free app. I don't know if it's on iOS. Most did you, likely. Did you download it? Yeah, no. You don't have a, a Apple. Yeah, it's, it's on uh, Android for sure. That's what I use it on. Also, uh, SoundCloud. Okay, so- SoundCloud is also on there too. Yeah. Um, that's, that's I'll be putting SoundCloud. it up on there too. Yeah. So we have a, we have a lot of places for you to find the podcast. Um but yeah, the the app is really cool. Check it out, you guys. It's uh, it's free. It's convenient. 
and it's easy to use. So yeah, mm-hmm. go for it. All right. We'll see you again next time in uh, top tier gaming podcast. Wednesday. Uh, hopefully Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah. Wednesday. Yeah. I'm down for Wednesday. Wednesday I got uh, next Wednesday off too. Four, maybe four, four o'clock. Yeah, I think four is pretty good. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, cool. Thanks. Peace out, guys.